Hi folks, this is Dr. Ye Ouyang, who is the CTO and SVP from Asia Info. As a lucky winner of TM Forum's Future Digital Leader Award in 2019, I'm very happy to lead and present this TM Forum's Catalyze program in the space of 5G and digital twins. So actually, TM Forum's Catalyze program help our telcos and vendors commercialize many state-of-the-art technologies from scratch. So this Catalyze program is not an exception as well. Okay, let's kick off. You may ask, is there any, anything to do between 5G and digital twins? and how can AI technology empower 5G? So this project is actually a typical case to illustrate how digital twin along with AI and federated learning help multiple telcos share their 5G network infrastructure and optimize their network planning, service quality, and user experience. The background of the story is China Telecom and China Unicom in September 2019, made a strategy of 5G network infrastructure co-construction and sharing, which means, which means the 5G new radio in a certain area may be dominated by one telco only and shared with the other. Definitely, this policy may help two telcos save significant cost in terms of CapEx, OPEX, and TCO. On the other hand, the two telcos will need to cooperate the network from planning, rolling out, optimization, and operation throughout the entire network life cycle. Such a joint cooperation mode requires a visible and virtualized simulation system to enable the two telcos for co-planning and operation, but not sharing their data and privacy in two silos. So this is the motivation for us to consider leveraging digital twins for virtualized simulation and federated learning for network analytics with data in silos. So what is the old school methodology for network planning and operation? So normally we use some uh, desktop based simulation software where we pull in the data run the simulation formulas embedded in the software, and finally present the results in a GIS map. It is basically an offline mode and a very rough simulation in IF layer and a network layer only, without considering how true user experience is reflected in the network. So in our solution, we developed a digital twin system to mimic the physical world in a digital world which means what happened in the physical world is immediately recorded in the data, and the data is instantly transferred to the digital world for further simulation. So in the digital world, we mimic network twin, customer twin, and space twin, which are the three primary objects in the physical world as well. The digital network mimics the real network, the digital customer twin mimics the users, and the spatial twin mimics the geographical space in the real world. Other than digital twins, another problem for us to address is the data in different silos. So is there a way for us to leverage the data from silos to do network planning analytics while keeping the data confidential for the two telcos? The key is definitely a new AI methodology named Federated Learning here. So in this chart, the Federated Learning Engine stays in the two individual red boxes to collaborate for network traffic simulation, network performance simulation, and user experience simulation, and so on. The simulated results are pulled into a joint cooperation platform for the two telcos to do further FP&A analytics and make decisions of network rolling out and operation. So in a nutshell, federated learning enables the two telcos to use their data in silos for joint network planning and simulation. The co-simulated results are further transformed to do business decisions for the two telcos in their 5G network infrastructure co-construction and sharing. 
any milestone in the network life cycle, such as planning, rolling out, optimization, or maintenance, finally targets as serving a customer with optimum experience. So customer-centric is actually our ultimate goal in 5G network co-construction and sharing. We leverage TM Forum's customer experience lifecycle model as the metrics framework to measure the user experience in a customer's network journey. Asia Info in here is very proud to announce we developed a state-of-the-art user experience algorithm portfolio named ECS, Emotional Connection Score, to derive users' true quality of experience with the data metrics defined by TM Forum. So in this slide, individual user behavior is simulated in digital twins. The aggregated user traffic is then converted to the network capacity and the performance metrics for the two telcos to better plan and operate their networks. But this is not the end of the story. The next step is to use the ECS algorithm portfolio to bridge the network capacity and performance to user quality of experience with the ultimate target to maximize the user experience of the 5G network. So this slide introduced the framework of our digital twins. Basically, the age and cloud mode enables the digital body stays closer to the physical world. And on the other hand, the digital brain locates in the central cloud for decision making, which consumes much computing resources along with AI. The overall Digital Twins framework consists of Network Twins by ZTE, Customer Twins, and Spatial Twins by Asia Info. So in a nutshell, we define a digital user in a network is doing what, in where, and what time. The behavior of the user in the network at a given time is recorded and mimicked in the Twins system in which we leverage the AI engine to simulate and predict the prospective behaviors. Such behaviors are furthermore quantified in terms of how much network capacity and performance that can be dynamically surface the needs of all the users. The dotted dash circle in the chart is the AI brain to make further decisions for autonomous network operation. So in this slide, Federated Learning addresses the problem of data silos from different telcos. In this project, we use a vertical federated learning algorithm in terms of fusion calculation across business, customer, and space factors to derive a very optimum policy to guide cost-effective network planning and operation with the target of maximizing the user experience. And also, we use horizontal federated learning to derive the user experience in terms of the ECS, Emotional Connection Score, for everybody. So after we illustrate the theory of the AI-based digital twin for the 5G network, we may be wondering what a real-world case is it? So think about a recent case in China the COVID-19 is spreading in China, and there is a need to roll out a hospital and a full 5G network coverage in the epidemic area in a few weeks only. So how can we leverage the 5G AI-based digital twin system to take care of the 5G network planning, network rolling out, service instant provisioning, and customer experience optimization, along with, finally, green network? Let's watch the video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So, number one, the case one is to leverage the federated learning for very fast network planning to enable full and very great 5G coverage for the epidemic hospital built in a few weeks only. The twins system presents what you will have is what you are planning. In other words, planning is believing. So in the case of remote diagnostics, the network performance and experience is fully simulated in the digital room to make sure the real remote diagnostics and treatment can be supported without latency and service degradation. So in this case, 
We illustrate a very critical patient's journey from home to surgery room, requesting full coverage along with very high QoS requirements. So our 5G digital twins system will guide the network to provide a very dedicated network slice for the ambulance which meets the QS requirements in terms of latency, throughput, and jitter, and so on. Thus, critical patients request critical QS, which can be very well simulated and truly mimic in our very digital 5G digital twins system. A side benefit of our digital twins system can dynamically mimic the user mobility and with AI to analyze the user mobility and the seasonality, we tune the antenna power to green the network. To conclude, this catalyzed program develops a 5G digital twins platform empowered by AI. The key values it brings to the telcos are threefold. Number one, the digital twin in terms of network twin, customer twin, and the spatial twin can truly mimic a very digital network world for cost-effective network planning, rolling out, optimization, and maintenance. Number two, the federated learning methodology help address the data silo problem in 5G network co-construction and sharing for the two telcos in China. Number three, our emotional connection score helped the telcos bridge the gap between the network performance and the true user experience. In a nutshell, Asia Info is very happy to help the worldwide telcos to roll out an autonomous 5G network and service ecosystem in their journey of digital transformation. Forward looking, an AI powered digital twins is not for 5G only but can be extended to the smart city ecosystem as well. Particularly, the telcos can leverage the digital twin along with its big data and AI to serve a, to serve a city in a smarter manner. Digital twins can be everywhere in city planning, security monitoring, smart social governance, and smart livelihood. Like the movie Inception, people are not just seeing a virtual world through a digital twin. They can also simulate and build their dream world with digital twin. And finally, realize it with sustainable development. So thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoy my talk.